Hi, you guys. Welcome back to First Impression Friday, a series that I have here on my YouTube channel where I review a pattern company's entire collection. In one video, we take a look at um, all the patterns and kind of discuss them for fit, fabrication, just kind of like the overall design and just hang out and have a lot of fun looking at patterns. Today we're going to be looking at Petite Stitchery, a cute little company run by two women, Ashley H and Ashley R. I feel like I'm watching The Bachelorette. Um, two Ashleys, two moms, um, both sort of self-taught sewists, self-taught designers, um, and they have a really, they. I, I feel like Based on looking at some of this stuff here and looking at their homepage, we're going to get a lot of really great, like, trendy items, um, which should be a lot of fun and maybe a departure from some of the usual sort of basics that we see out of indie patterns. But as you can see here, they also have kids' patterns and baby patterns. Um, they do have a clearance section. Maybe we can take a look at that at the end. And then a whole section of freebies, which we will also look at. So we're going to look at all of the adult patterns. Uh, they do have them broken out here if you want to shop a particular style, but we're going to look at every single one. So it looks like they are being sorted by the most recent pattern released to the oldest patterns. So that's always a journey <laughs> to go through, especially in indie patterns, because you can really see the evolution of, you know, just their designs and their aesthetic and everything else. All right, so first off, we have this Colby bralette, and I'm not normally one to review undergarments because I just don't fully know what I'm looking at, but this one is such that it can also be a top. Um, so we're going to kind of look at it through that lens. If you are looking for a bralette pattern, they'll give you both comfort and style. Colby is the one for you. Personally, I love a good bralette. I always have trouble finding the right one. That gives me a good mix of comfort, support, and a little bit of spice. Colby is here to check out all those boxes. I mean, between the two of them, I think they have eight kids. So girlfriend knows how to spice things up, right? Um, easy to select sizes are based off your band and cup size. No guessing here. So that's interesting. Um, if you choose a knit bralette for everyday wear or fancy it up with a lace version, if you're looking for a little something extra, choose the plunge or peekaboo bodices. Check out some of the options. All right, band sizes. And the, the band is what's going to be like your under bust area. 28 inches to 50 inches. Cup sizes A, B, C, D, 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 E, F, and G, H. Uh, knit bralette finishes. Lace bralette finishes. Plunge, V-neck, and peekaboo bodices, low V-back, and then you have the option for a one and a half inch or a three inch waistband. Yeah, this seems to really encompass everything you would ever need out of a bralette, right? Um, they are on sale. I don't know if the sale is just specific to some patterns or otherwise, but normally $9.50 on sale for $7.50. Um, you also earn points through this company. I'm not entirely sure how the point system works or like how many points you need and what that translates to. But I know if you sign up for a account, you immediately get 10 points because I did that earlier <laughs> and I got my 10 points. All right, let's take a look at some of these photos. Please tell me it goes big, yes. Okay, so this looks to be the pattern cover. January 22, Ashley R. I'm assuming that's one of the Ashleys and maybe she's the one that designed this one. So they kind of split the, the work, which is nice. So here's the deep V back. So nice. It also makes it like really easy to get in and out of. Sometimes these bralettes, I am like fighting with myself to get these, um, to get these in and out. Now, Morgan, I'm not entirely sure that that was the point to have under boob showing. I think maybe she sewed a breast cup that was too small. I don't know about that. Here's Anna. I do like this little peekaboo, especially if you make it into a sports bra. That's really cute. Here's another one with the under boob. Is that the point? Listen, I'm I'm a little bit of a undergarment prude, I guess, and <laughs> didn't know that that was an option. Here it is made out of something similar to a ponte, maybe, uh, where it looks like an actual crop top. Here's the back. 
So her three inch waistband, she's pretty short waisted, goes all the way down to her waist. So that is an actual, you know, top. Not That's not happening to everybody. You can just tell depending on how long they are in the torso. So if you like a longer top and you have a longer torso, you'd need to add some length probably up here, maybe, depending on, I guess, where your breast starts. This is why I'm not super good at reviewing undergarments. It's a lot of like, I guess, and I think, maybes. All right, here are our line drawings. You can see it's a little bit sporty, right? It's got the little um, princess seams, the two different bands, and then your cutout or v-neck options. Fabric requirements. Re recommended fabrics are stretch knits with at least 50% four-way stretch. That kind of seems like a lot, right? Um, or galoon lace with 50% or more stretch. And then your sewing supplies, other than the usual stuff, you just need... So there's no cups. There's no, like power mesh there's no anything um although i guess this could technically include power knits if you did a main and a lining that were different but you can also do 3 8 inch pico or lingerie elastic or clear elastic measuring guide and then we're back to the front again to the top again so, yeah, it is really cute. The only thing that's throwing me off is all that under boob. Like, I like the little cutout, but I don't know that that's, that's what I'm aiming for. I guess you would just make the little, like, scoopy thing less of an arc. Or more of an arc? Hmm. All right, next up we have the Tristan Leggings. Again, they are also on sale. We have... Seamless front, a seamless front. It looks to me like that's a big seam in the front, so I'm confused by that. And a gusset for ease of wear. Love a legging with a gusset. Um, it has a contour waistband, optional pocket, and more. You can choose to embellish your leggings with color block panels or a moto finish. The Tristan leggings are a must-have in your closet and rotation. All right, let's look at these. So, I don't know what she means by seamless front because this is clearly the front of a body and there's a big giant seam right there. So that's already confusing. The sizing goes from extra small to 4X. There's the moto version. That's pretty cute. Although this doesn't line up, which I think it should. Here's your little color block version. That's really cute in like a rib knit stitch, more of like a lounge wear. Some detailed photos. That's a fun fabric. Also fun. Yeah, nobody's side seams are lining up, so I don't know what that's about. Ooh, a leather version. Super fun. Yeah, so they're making them for all kinds, like obviously workout, lounge, but also like to wear as clothing, so that's fun. So you have just the most plain option is just the center front seam, but there isn't a seam in the back. Um, or at least not on this version. This version does, are these all fronts? I'm so confused. These might all be fronts. Do you think? And then you have this, you have the plain, that looks like a butt to me. Okay, so front and back, and then front, front. I wish it said that somewhere. Um, so the back is plain, which I'm not entirely sure I like that, especially with this version that has like a ton of embellishment going on, and then you turn around, and it's like nothing. So, I don't know. Uh, your recommended fabrics are 40% with four-way stretch. Sewing supplies, just your usual stuff, and then elastic for the waistband seam. I don't, I, they, do they really need to include this? I mean, it's just a lot to read to get through to figure out what you actually really need. Um, so four-way stretch fabrics, 40% stretch. That makes a little bit more sense. I think that's what that 
bra, well, I guess if the bra was more for lounging, it could be a little bit stretchier, but if you're going to make it for working out, it would need to be less stretchy. And I guess that applies to this too. But I do want to see, I want to confirm that it says a seamless front. Oh, does she just mean center front? That should be clarified, I think. All right. So those are the Tristan leggings. Lots of cute options there, as you saw. Here is the Remy sweater. Um, all in the details. Oversized silhouette. Playful ruched details. The ties can be pulled tight in a bow or left loose and hanging. Change up the whole look depending on the mood. Options include curved crop, which I think is what she's wearing. Excuse me, she's wearing short top, long tunic, horizontal or vertical ruched details, crew neck or turtleneck, bishop sleeves. All right, and the same extra small to 4X. Have we seen a body measurement chart? I think they are individual, right? And I've just been skipping over them. My bad. Okay, I will look at this one really closely whenever we get to it to see what the the what that actually translates to. All right, so here's the turtleneck version. Here is the bishop sleeve, um, and then the crop version. Super cute, super trendy, as you can tell. Um, I do feel like I was seeing this a lot on like Pinterest and TikTok and places like that. Here is your vertical ruching that they were talking about, right? Where it goes up the sort of side front. There you can see that a lot better too. There might even be like a little slit in here, slit detail. Again with the turtleneck, it's this is a lot with also the turtleneck, right? It's like a little bit like just a lot happening. Here is the crew neck version. I still think I would want that opened up a little bit more, right? Because it's just a lot of fabric with the sleeve and then the ruching. There's another detail of the uh, horizontal ruching cropped. Yeah, this looks a little bit better, right? Loose, relaxed, maybe the drape of the fabric is sort of what I was picking up on earlier. There's a turtleneck and a tunic length. Yeah, this is totally the vibe, right? If you're making this like cropped version, wearing it with leggings, um, you know, oversized and then close fitting is really kind of like the look I had in mind. Oh, here it is whenever you tie it. That's also super cute. You can get it like a little bit more like defined waist with it this way. Oh, she made it into a dress. That's cute. I wonder what happens when she moves her hand though. Like how high up on the thigh are we going? So yeah, the whore, the, I'm sorry, the vertical ruching takes a bit more of a drapier fabric and then the horizontal ruching you can go a little bit um structured a little bit more structured so recommended fabrics 40 percent two-way or four-way stretch recommended or required um and i think that's just to get the turtleneck and crew neck piece over your head um you can go stretchier so it should be like at least 40%, I think. If you go less than 40%, I don't think you'll be able to get it on. Um, you could also, you know, if you use less than 40%, you could make the neckline opening larger. No notions. I do wish that there was like actual elastic or something in this seam, but I guess it didn't really look that bad on the models. So maybe I'm just being picky. Or particular all right so here is the size chart and when we look at this is the body measurement chart and it says all patterns are drafted for heights of 5 5 to 5 7 I don't know how there's a range here it's either one or the other 
so we should just guesstimate into five six I don't know a lot of this stuff about the information they're providing is a little bit confusing even for me and I've been you know sewing and I all I don't know that that seems weird to me it should be drafted for one height no um like how do you know does it say does it say on the pattern um instructions this is a five five or this is a five six or this is a five seven hmm hmm maybe that's because the two there's two designers with this company and one is five five and one is five seven and they draw for themselves first I don't know but then the chest measurements go from 31 and a half up to 56 and three quarters and then your hip measurements go from 34 and a half up to 61 and a quarter. So that's that's a that's a really decent range. That's good. The height thing is really throwing me off. All right, now we have the kids version of this, which is a little frustrating that I chose adults, but the kids version is showing up, but whatever. Um, here is a beanie, which also looks like for kids. It is a freebie though. Um, holiday freebies. Oh, a, be a beanie with something for the whole family. So I guess this is a little bit for everybody. So if you're into the accessories, you can go check that out. This is the hooded poncho. The veil, the veil. Um, perfect hooded poncho pattern. Super easy to make with many options. Size range from little kid to 3x, 4x. Uh, choose from top length or tunic, make it unlined or fully reversible. You can also add a patch pocket for the perfect touch. Okay. So kids and adult all in one. So it looks like, going back to this, it looks like it's just a grown on sleeve. With a hemmed sleeve, this go this the underarm seam goes down to here, then it splits open. You can add this patch pocket, and then the it's like a grown-on hood too. So they're calling it a poncho. I don't know if that's necessary because it sort of feels like I don't know, maybe because it's grown on sleeve, that's why they're calling it a poncho. I don't know. Um that version is really lightweight and summery. And then you also have like a fall version as well. Nice big hood. Here's the knit version. Very cute as a layering piece, right? I don't know that I would ever wear it like bare armed. I wonder how much fabric it takes because it would be a really great way to do some stash busting, I think. So here's the sizing again. Those sizes are all the same. Oh, here we go. Right here it says the heights. But it still says 5'5 five, five to 5'7. Five, I don't get that. How can it be? How can any of these be a range? That confuses me. Are we supposed to think that the smaller sizes is 5'5 five, five and the longer sizes are 5'? If it were that, then they would do 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, six, five, six, five, seven. I don't know. That's confusing to me. But yeah, here is the line drawing. It actually would be, I'm seeing these line drawings, and it's giving me like a, like, get out of the shower and throw on like a toweled, you know, roby type of thing. But for the adult sizes, it does take, for the shorter version, two and three eighths of fabric. Yeah, I guess because everything's so grown on that, um, it is not much of a fabric or a stash buster like I thought, but fabrics include woven fabrics, cotton woven, chambray, shirting, and flannel fleece and knits will work well. I mean, also things like wool and, you know, more of your like wintry fabrics. They have that whole collection of like acrylic fabrics at Joanne. Um, I can't remember what they call them, but in like the coating type section, and then no real notions. All right. So cute. Easy to sew. Great beginner project. Here we have Neve leg warmers. Love those. It's also free. 
So if you're into accessories, check out this. You also have the Blitzen Toboggan, another freebie. Here is the Adult Wisteria Duster. So it looks a lot like what we just saw, but sleeveless and more of a waterfall situation. Layering staple, look no further. Wisteria is here. Choose from, oh, to meet your luxe loungewear needs. So that's the vibe they're going for, luxe loungewear. Hood or shawl, pockets, top or dress, length, uh, three sleeve options, and also a thumb hole sleeve. So there is a sleeve, just not on this version. Okay. <laughs> cute. Um, so here's the thumb hole sleeve with the sleeve. Yeah, cute little waterfall cardigan. This one has a band. Yeah, bands on the sleeveless. Yeah, that thumb hole sleeve is really comfy cozy. So I think this was the shawl collar. And then this is the hooded one. Also, I think a grown on hood again. She looks like she did not hem hers because she used a ponty knit or something similar. You don't have to. Um, and with this waterfall, you can see the wrong side, as you can tell. So, And then she looks like she made some kind of facing for hers. Or is that just the wrong side of her fabric? Yeah. So she just turned under and did a baby hem. Here's a real lightweight version. Here's another way to hem it. But again, all of this hemming is going to show. So the idea of taking a knit and not hemming it is actually, I think, the best of all the options. Yeah, so you can see here, goodness gracious, how much fabric does this take? Oh, they have to separate it. It takes so much fabric. So one and three quarters for the front, one and one eighth for the back. Your sleeve takes a yard, your armband takes an eighth of a yard, and then a little bit of interfacing. And it is not a grown on sleeve. It is sewn in and it looks like the hood is sewn in separate as well. I think it's hard to tell. So drapey knit fabric, 40% four way stretch required with good drape for duster, 50% four way stretch with good recovery for the thumb hole binding. So you can get your hand in. It is recommended to use fabrics where the wrong side is similar in color to the right side due to the drape of the waterfall collar if unlined. Yes, that makes sense. I don't, I mean, I guess they're looking for something a little bit more structured and that's why they're calling for 40-50% stretch. So, but I think you could go with a lot less stretch too. Wait, a lot, yeah, a lot less stretch also. So 40 would be the most, 40 or 50 would be the most, and then you can go down from there because there's nothing restricting you. I mean, it's a very loose fitting garment. Um, so if it didn't have as much stretch, you should be fine, except for the sleeve, except for the sleeve. That's one place where, yeah, if you're making, the sleeve does look a little bit fitted. So if you're making that version, yeah, you might want to adhere to the 40%, 50% rule. Okay. Now we have... Millie bodysuit and separates. Meet Millie, the Dolman bodysuit and separates you've been waiting for. Gather Dolman bodysuit or separates, short or long lantern sleeve, brief, cheeky, thong or shorty bottoms, lined or unlined finishes, optional snap crotch for the brief, the cheeky, and the shorty only. I guess if you have a thong... <laughs> You just pull it to the side. I can't even believe I just said that on the internet. But <laughs> I, I don't know how, I guess, unless you don't undress and you get completely naked. Oh, man. Okay. So let's take, with that said, let's take a look. So you have this kind of like a little bit of a whitish neckline. I can't tell if it's intended to be gathered there. Big dolman, right? I mean, this is like bat wing extreme but fitted through the forearm. And then it's all sewn into this little underwear of your choosing. Oh, it is gathered. It's gathered here, I think. 
yeah, such a big opening. You can even like, you know, put it off to the side a little bit. Okay, this is the separates version where it's just a top that sits on the outside. So you either sew underwear to this or you just sew a band, which that makes sense. Yeah, very dramatic lantern sleeve here. Now, is that, I think this is the bodysuit with pants on. So you can see just how much drape and length is there. Same with this. I think it's really hard to tell. I guess that's the cheeky. That's the thong. I don't think we really need to be <coughs> looking too closely at those. Um, I also think this is not meant to be gathered. It's just a very, very closely drafted neckband. That's the shirt. All right. All right. Here are our um, line drawings. And I think that the reason why this is so big is this is how you get into it. You know, you step in through the neckline. So you really need to pay attention to fabric requirements. This one's a 50 way stretch for bottom bands and lower sleeve. Stretch knits with 30% or more for the top and bodysuit bodice. So that also might be why you see a little bit of that wrinkling in the band because it has been stretched out so much to get over the hip. Um, but I sort of love the idea of a bodysuit with little shorties underneath. I don't know that I've really ever seen that in ready to wear or in any other patterns. Um, I think briefs is usually the most common. You also have options of mid or low rise. So depending on how high you wanted the briefs to come. So that's interesting as well. And then optional pico or lingerie elastic for the leg openings. Interfacing snaps and pliers for the snap placket. All right. Did we ever see the back? I wish we could have seen the back. But no, they all show. Oh, well, there are these backs. But yeah, just a really wide neckline. That's, again, how you get in and out of it. All right. That's fun. Now we have Piper Palazzo pants. So excited to sew for fall. Piper Palazzo pants are the perfect attire. Waist ties, pockets, mid or high rise, flood or pants length. Simple pleated or color block, your little one. These are all adults. I think that was just they copied and pasted. Okay. So Palazzo pants to me, are these knit? I, I thought Palazzo pants were super loose fitting, even through the hip and thigh. No? The, the leg opening is super wide. But I didn't, re I didn't think it was supposed to be so fitted through the, but maybe I'm getting Palazzo pants confused with something else. This is that top that we just saw. Here's the color blocked version. Yeah, these are giving me more of like a flared legging vibe, no? So that's the flood length. And then you can do the optional waist tie. In general, looking at all these different body types in pants, let me confirm that these are knits. Hold on. Yeah, knit fabric, 50% four-way stretch. Yeah, um, knit palazzo pants. Yeah, I'm not getting palazzo vibes. I'm just getting like a flared knit pant. And depending on the fabric, unless you were, I mean, it said 40% stretch, so... You couldn't even do like a ponty or anything. You'd have to like size up. In that regard, they're more like lounge pants, right? Like, I mean, I guess something like that. You just have to like really be on the lookout for a pant that you could wear that has enough stretch, but also doesn't look like leggings because I think it could easily go into legging territory. 
And I think even though, did nobody make the pleated version? I would like to see the pleated version just to see how much wider it makes the hip and thigh. If at all. But otherwise, these just look like comfy pants. Right? With a really deep waistband. All right. Now we have Giselle, Henley, hoodie, and dress. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Okay. Choose from crop top, crop top, dress, or midi, balloon, or simple cuff sleeves, closed split, or snap placket side seams. Closed split or snap placket. That could be interesting. Optional elastic waistband, optional kangaroo pocket. So this is a hoodie, Henley, wait, what did they call it? <laughs> Henley hoodie. Okay, I think that's a little bit contradictory, but that's okay. So we have a hooded garment with a half placket, okay, Henley, waist elastic, bit of a drop shoulder sleeve, sleeve band, and a hem band. There is your split side seam hmm this is color blocked although it looks like a vest that's the optional kangaroo pocket as well okay she's closest to making this like an actual garment it's confusing to me because it feels like it just wants to be loungewear. But with the Henley and the elastic waist and the dramatic sleeve, it's also wanting to be like an actual like garment that you wear out. So, so far she's the closest. You can see this little band here is what's creating the balloon. And her little like contrast details are cute. But everything else is sort of just the same little baby pink color. Yeah, I don't, it's, it's, it's like towing, it's got one foot in each category, and that to me is a little bit, like my brain is not accepting it as either loungewear or actual clothes that you wear out. This, clearly, just as a top, yes, that makes sense. You'd wear that as loungewear, you would wear that like, you know, I don't feel good, I need to go to the pharmacy, <laughs> kind of errand <laughs> you know like this one too yeah but those dress versions just feel a little bit confusing but like I said that one girl with the pink version super cute Fabric is so important here. 30% stretch for the body and 50% for the bands and cuffs. So if you want to, oh, so you can use like a rib knit. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. And then optional buttons or snaps. I don't think they're optional. I think that you really need, I mean, you need some buttons and snaps for this version, no? Um, and then half inch elastic for this version only. It's not really optional. It just depends on the view that you're making. All right, now we have Maeve Cocoon Dress and Top. Okay, polished yet sophisticated silhouette, high-low top, mini and midi length, exaggerated back wing, back wing sleeves with fitted cuffs, oversized fit, tapered mini and midi fit. Okay. Kind of hard to see what's going on there, but you do have your kind of wide neckband, dramatic dolman bat wing sleeve, this red part, drop shoulder, fitted through the thigh. She belted it there. That seems to be very cute and like something you would see in a store. It does have this interesting sleeve seam, which I am totally here for. Here, let's zoom in. You can kind of see that a little bit better. Right? That's fun. Mm 
yeah, you can really get an idea of the shape here. She made it into a very cute dress. There it is over leggings. That's fun. Little polka dot. Little Halloween version. Yeah, so hmm, the pictures don't really do it justice, but I really feel like this one has a lot of potential. It's very 80s, right? I mean, those of you that were adults <laughs> in that time period, you remember this, right? I mean, especially in like rib knits and like super stretchy fabrics, 100%. This could be a lot of fun. Um, especially those of you that, I'm trying to think of like body silhouettes. Um, if you are a like, oh, what would it be? Where uh, inverted triangle, and you made it to fit your hip, and then didn't really adjust the top that much, so it's be a little bit closer fitting through the top. That could be like super flattering. Or if you're like me, and your pair where you're bigger on the bottom, and you made it to fit your hip, but kind of like size down like you normally would in the bodice just try to get the proportions right um it could it could work for that too did nobody make this long version the top obviously is really easy to pull off no matter what body type you have but I think that's super cute even if you're like you know bigger chested smaller ch I think it's cute on lots of different body types but then that version obviously is you know, really easy to pull off. And I think that's one of these little waffle knits. Yeah, Joanne has a ton of these in a million colors right now. Um, so you'd be able to go grab some of those. All right, our first woven, I think. Yep, this is the Frankie Woven Dolman. So we're still not doing set in sleeves, really. You just got to button up. Let's read the thing. Um, short cuffed, short hemmed, and long sleeve options. Choose from crop or top lengths. Two back options, split or pleated, and add bodice pockets for the perfect touch. Good job on this pattern matching though, right? <laughs> All right, so you've got this grown on, um, oh shoot, what's it called? Oh lord, notched collar. Is that what I'm, lapel grown on lapel, and then the collar is sewn into that. So it's like a real great, like little cheater method for achieving like a notched collar. Love the cuffed sleeve. Bit of a shirting there. Very drop shoulder on that version. Oh, because it's a dolman. Right, right, right. Three buttons on a full length top. I don't know about that. Here is the pleated back, so pretty. She made hers into like more of a, why is she so angry? Um, into more of like a shacket version. Here's the cropped version. Very um, 70s, like bowler vibes. Maybe this fabric is what's really giving me that. This is the split back. She did some embroidery on hers. That's cute. <laughs> Pleated back. Cuff sleeve. Yeah, a little bit small through here, but she's also, you know, kind of pulling her shoulders back. So maybe that has something to do with it, too. The split back is tempting. I love a split back. Um, a little unclear as to why her serger stitches are showing. Oh, because that's how she, quote unquote, hemmed it when she should have turned it under. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Really pretty lightweight fabric there. More crisp shirting. Yep. Okay. Yeah, this is, this has potential too. Um, are these pleats that I just missed? Maybe. Or I'm sorry, darts. And then the actual button cuff. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I do like this with the split hem and the dolman. Especially if you made it in like a double gauze or something that's meant to be like a lightweight linen, you know, or something that's meant to be like super flowy and like cool temperatures. I guess that's kind of what this is. And this was my favorite version of the tester make. So cute. I don't hate that. 
Um, now we have the Georgie Cargo Pant. Meet Georgie, the relaxed fit unisex cargo pant that your wardrobe's been missing. Color block or solid, mid or high rise, inseam pocket, zipper pocket, box pleat pockets, turn up cuffs, and elastic cuffs. All right, let's take a look. So you've got your waistband. These are definitely knit. And then you just add these little pocket designs. So they're basically like sweatpants with, oh, wait, maybe not, maybe not. Is that a denim or a knit that's meant to look like a denim? That's an intriguing fabric. I'm hoping that's the low rise. No, that's denim. Are, is this a woven pattern? Lots of denim versions. Cuffed hers. These might be, that looks like a knit fabric. I may be losing my mind, but that <laughs> looks like a knit fabric to me. Maybe it's both. Um, yeah, a medium to heavyweight wovens, canvas, twill, flannel, and stable knit. So maybe they thought that sweatshirting would kind of go into that category, which it totally should. I can totally see menswear in like a super cool sweatshirting um, with all these like pocketing details. Yeah, not totally my vibe. I'm not really like adding things to my outer thighs is not... <laughs> Not what I'm here for um but they are cool but they are cool and you don't see a lot of patterns like this so there's something to be said for that as well right even if it's not my own personal style here we have the Kirby blazer okay now we're getting into my style a million percent I've got the um oh shoot Everlane is that what it's called that ready to wear brand that's you know Super, super cute, but pretty much basics that I know I can sew. And so I always use that as inspiration. And they have a really cute version of this. But that fabric with the set, with the matching shorts, yes, 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 here for all of this. Okay, so this is the dressed up or dressed down casual best fit, best friend fit blazer. Will work itself seamlessly into your wardrobe. Best friend or contour fit, square or curved front, welt or patch pocket, and optional button closure. I love no buttons, but you have this long seam here, which is also faced. Um, this might be fully lined, or is that just the wrong side of the fabric? I think it might be fully lined. Then you have this patch pocket. You have your little notched collar. This is the curved front. That's the square front. Love it in a linen. Love it in an animal print. Solid. That might be more of like a stable knit like Ponty. We did have some issues here. So the instructions or construction there might be a little tricky for beginners. Yeah, I think this is like the, the contour fit. And that might be the best friend fit. Yeah, look how cool that is in like an actual like suiting. Making the best friend fit in an actual suiting fabric I think is such a cool juxtaposition. Yeah, fully lined. And look, she even in her welt pocket in the... Yep, really beautiful collar there. So cool in like these wools and, you know, traditional like menswear plaid situations. Love it. Yeah, so you can see contour fit for the best friend fit. I mean, it's really the only jacket you'd ever need. Am I wrong? <laughs> um, woven and stretch woven fabrics with 10 to 15% stretch. Denim, corduroy, linen, suiting, ponte, jacquard, and then lightweight wovens for your lining. You also need mid-weight fusible interfacing and one button if you opt for the button. Okay, but please show me the matching set, right? 
oh good gracious is that these are they have seven pages of patterns oh my gosh we gotta go faster um the page preppy sweater um multiple hem links short longer bishop sleeves straight fit or flared styles First little v-neck we've seen. Oh, make it into a vest. Yeah, vests are having a moment for sure. Yeah, this is just another one of their basics, right? We've seen, okay, okay. We've seen a lot of um, sort of banded knits. And this is just another version of that with a v-neck. Um, but everything else about it is pretty much the same as the others. Let's get to the, the dresses are interesting, right? Like, yeah, I don't, I, I do not like bands. Like I just, I don't know, hand bands. I just, I'm not a fan, but you can leave that off and have like a really, it is preppy. It is very preppy. I'm getting a very strong collegiate vibe from it. Here's your crop top with the long sleeves. Here's your vest. And then I think this is them showing us the side of the vest with all of these seam details let's go back somebody had this yeah so you can see it there with the side pockets I think that's what they're showing so that's fun we have a unitard um so whether you're layering lounging or looking to just give an extra boost in self-esteem, this pattern has you covered. Okay. I don't know about unitards for myself. And some of these pictures are NSFW. So if you're watching at work, maybe fast forward. <laughs> Regular and low scoop front, scoop and be back, lined or unlined, shorts, capri, ankle length, tank or sleeveless with multiple links. Now I will say I have seen unitards sort of in place of bodysuits where you wear actual pants over the bottom half or like a skirt or whatever um then just use it more of like a layering piece but these people that are rocking these as like full-on outfits more power to you that does look super comfortable i gotta give her that like i could lounge around in that <clears throat> okay we'll just skip over that one pretty quickly not that there's anything wrong with that at all i just know that you know it's if somebody walked by your cubicle and saw that they might be wondering what the heck you're doing. Well, then again, if they walked by and saw this on your, any of this on your computer screen, even this, they'd be wondering what you're doing. Um, so yeah, the shorts unitard as a layering piece, um, sort of similar to a bodysuit. Instead of having the brief, you have the short. I've seen that a lot, which makes a lot of sense, especially if you have like shaping on your inner thighs or rubbing or anything like that. You might prefer this over a bodysuit. All right, this is the Auden Raglan sweater. So another knit with probably lots of variations. Oversized fit, modest crop and top link, color block side panels, color block sleeve pockets. All right, so lots of color blocking options. You do have a Raglan, which is the first time we've seen that. We've seen a lot of dolmans but not a lot of raglans. And then they give you all of these um, color blocking opportunities as well. Cute. So I'm, oh, that's the crop top, which is really cute. I just, I did the crop top proportion wise on so many people is so much better than um, a full length top. I think people get, I don't know, nervous about making crop tops because they think that they are, their whole stomach is going to show. And that's just not always the case. So you can just make a plain one or you can add all of this extra stuff. Um, I did like it as a tunic link too, um, over leggings or even over that bodysuit. You know what I mean? Like wear the bodysuit as leggings and then the top portion of the bodysuit just gets covered up by this. I mean, that's also brilliant. Even as a crop top, I think that would be good. So we shouldn't be knocking the bodysuit. You guys want me to try and make a bodysuit and show you how to style it? Let me know in the comments. This is Willa. Willa is, is it at the top? Yeah, 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 okay. Um, open back. So two open back options, crossed back or low back. 
modest plain back options, two links, and two sleeves. So yeah, really open back. This is giving me, you know, very much um, Fabletics, you know, Kate Hudson's um, loungewear line. There it is, just deep V. Um, totally looks like something she would include in her line. Really pretty. <clears throat> Both for lounging, but also like, you know, heading to the gym and and all of that. I don't know that I would wear this to Target, but, well, there's a fully closed back option. Where are the line drawings? So, yeah, you have a full back option, low back, cross back. 30% two-way stretch for fabric. So it doesn't need to be super stretchy, but the bands do. So get yourself some rib knit um, or something like that, some contrast fabric that is going to be really stretchy. I think she's cute. Wearable. It's a fun little basic. It does have some options for like basics with a twist or you can just make, you know, a plain version too. All right. Now we have the Brahmi. What is a, the Prue Brahmi? The love child of a bra and a cami. Okay. Wear Prue under all your layering items or as a standalone cami. Simple or double bodices. I don't know what that means. Bra, crop, or top length. Tea back, gathered tea back, or scoop back options. Multiple finishes, binding, fold over elastic, or pico. And they even have a sew along on their YouTube channel. When bra meets cami. Okay, so a little bit of a racer back and also this little strip up the middle. Oh, yeah, the style lines are actually really, really cute. I love that it's sort of like a halter. Yeah, super cute, summer, rib knit, a thousand percent. I'm, I get it. I get it, a hundred percent. This has the little lettuce hem. Um, totally a layering piece. I don't fully understand the bra cami combo. Are y'all getting that, what that means? I don't think there is a shelf bra under this. But I think that's why it says the two layering options. Um, yeah, so I guess it's like a bra and then this bra from here down, but a cami from here up. Oh, I don't know. I don't really get it. You could easily make this top, make this um, in a like bra, like a closer fitting, more supportive material, put these two together, right, up here, and then sew them together with the binding. But I don't think that's how it's intended, but I don't, I don't know. 50% <laughs> four-way fabrics required. I do like the neckline a lot. I do, I thought that was really pretty. This is the Wren cardigan. Hood, <coughs> excuse me, hood or simple neckline, crop mid or long length, patch pockets or inseam pockets, bishop or simple sleeve, simple or thumb hole cuffs. So I would like to start with the line drawings this time. Okay. This way we can get a much better vibe for what's happening before we look at tester makes. But <coughs> you have your sewn in hood. It does have like a, a band going all the way around. That's nice. You have the crop length, totally trendy, or you can make it longer, but still have that, you know, waist defining elastic. And then sleeves with thumb hole cuffs if you choose. And then here's the back. You also have this cute little button tab detail, 50% two-way stretch fabrics. Yeah, all of those so far are looking like robes. This is the first one that's looking like a cardigan to me. I think fabric choice is really important here. Oh, that she made the cropped one, see? And a sheer fabric. That's so cool. <coughs> yeah, I'm not 100% sure execution is meeting 
the intention here with these tester makes, they kind of look a little bit sloppy. Look how pretty she is. Um, yeah, I think that the line drawings made it look better than it really does. Maybe it's the tie. Yeah, I don't know. Something's off. Here's that little detail there that is still really cute. I still like that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Something's, something's missing. I can't put my finger on it. Maybe the fabric choices were all too lightweight. That could be it. Um, who has the most structured? Maybe that, but even that's pretty drapey. Drapey. Drapey, drapey. So yeah, maybe if you went for more of like a sweatshirting or a fleece or something along those lines, like this one is less drapey and it just hangs better on the body. I think some of these are getting like really fussy um, because they're just too lightweight. They said 50% stretch. Is that what it said? Hold on. Let's skip to the end. <clears throat> yeah. Maybe less stretch, because you don't really need it to be super stretchy. It's pretty oversized, so you could go with something less stretchy, and that might help with the execution a little bit. Now we have Drew Joggers. Slim fit, two, four inch, or six inch elastic waistband with faux drawstring details, slant pockets, ruched or plain tuxedo striped joggers ruched or plain faux breakaway joggers or actual breakaway joggers. If you don't know what breakaway are, it's when they have the snaps. You know, like think about um, break dancers and they have all the snaps and they pull them off. Anyways, <laughs> two, four or six inch waistband. Here is the tuxedo. Um, just means that there's like a strip of fabric from, you know, waist to ankle. You can also do the button the snaps all the way down or you can do the ruching in there as well all right oh velvet cute they're supposed to be slim fit so they are supposed to be close fitting to the body but they're joggers not leggings so they're not supposed to be like super tight it's like somewhere in the middle Wow. Are those all elastic in all of those? It certainly would provide some, <laughs> you know, like support and coverage for the belly. <clears throat> those are the breakaways. Yeah, the ruched version is pretty cute. I wish we could see more full body looks. Those are cute. And then we're back to the beginning. Let's look through these one more time for a full body version. The detail picks are nice, but I like to see the all over fit. So, so yeah, definitely close fitting, especially through the knee down um, loungewear, 100% loungewear. I think it would be really cute. No one really did it in like a... Um, and a waffle knit, but I think a waffle knit would be nice. Obviously, as a set would be super cute. Like she did. So cute. Okay. All right. Those are fun and different. This is the Stevie Summer Play Suit. I'm imagining named after Stevie Nicks because this is giving me strong 70s vibes. Um, tied front bodice is great to labor your favorite cami or leo. Or worn on its own as a super as a cute summer crop. And ruffle shorts. So th short, three quarter or plain long sleeves, half or long bell sleeve, three quarter or long festival sleeve. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six sleeve options. Two, three, or four inch inseams with vintage high or mid rise. Vintage rise? What's vintage rise? 
ruffle or hemmed shorts. Okay. I mean, she's feeling it, and she should. She looks amazing. This huge ruffle sleeve, ruffle hem, so cute. Tied, midriff bearing, like, owning this look. Here's the hemmed short and the three-quarter sleeve, I think. Yep, there's another of the same version. So the bodice is fully lined. And it's also a knit. Oh, good. We get a picture of the back, which we haven't seen a lot of in the pants versions. So it's separates, right? It's a top and shorts. This must, oh, vintage rise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super, super, super high rise. That makes a lot more sense. And, you know, the crotch curve looks pretty decent. Maybe a little bit too much fabric through here, but yeah, there's your top and then your low rise, I think is what is happening there. Now, this picture doesn't give me high hopes. Even if we ignore the fact that it's low rise, which I just cannot get behind. It's short. Oh, because she went probably for like the two inch inseams to make it more of like, well, either like loungewear or just like a lot sexier. I get it. This is cute with the contrast fabric being like on purpose or the lining being a contrast on purpose, so it kind of ties it all in. That's fun. A little flimsy in the waistband elastic. There it is with like a little sports bra underneath. Yeah, very festival friendly. If you go to music festivals, concerts, any of that, you would fit right in um, in these little this little play suit. It's cute. Cute, fun, something a little bit different. Certainly don't have anything in my wardrobe like this, that's for sure. Yep, there it is, like, as a bathing suit, or at least, like, a beach cover-up. <clears throat> yeah. So, here are all of your options. It did look flattering on everybody. Whether you are fuller figured or not, I think that, um, I was trying to see the ruffle hem on like someone with bigger bottom half features. And I don't think it adds, I don't think it makes her look wider than she is, which would be my concern. You know, I think they're low enough <clears throat> and drapey. The fabric is drapey enough that it's just a little fun detail. Yeah, I think it's cute. But also, I understand, not for everyone. Okay, this is the Blake Cross Front Crop Top and Dress. Okay, so here we have Crop Peplum Top Vintage or Dress Length Garment. Four different back options, full, open, tie, and crop. The options don't end there. Choose a flutter, short, puff, flowy, or long sleeve. And then there are also optional patch pockets. So let's start with the line drawing again. <clears throat> so you've got a raglan sleeve with a little bit of elastic flutter sleeve here, elastic waist, and then your skirt, <coughs> excuse me, or a halter crop top, I think. Then this is your open back option, your tie back option. Yeah, lots of different options. Let's see how people mixed and matched these. The sleeve is super cute, so sweet. I don't think we've seen many dresses on here. <coughs> Tie back is nice. I mean, you do get a little bit of a peekaboo, but it still covers your bra. This is the shorts from the last pattern, and she combined it with this. Yeah, it's a sweet, I like the cross front. It's a sweet little pattern. I mean, I don't know fully that I'm going to really remember this as like a standout, but I think you would see it in a store like Forever 21 or H&M or something and think, 
yeah, 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 that's cute, you know, or maybe even like a Target would sell something like this. I don't necessarily know that it's something, though, that's, like, you know, so stand out that I have to make it. But it does look cute. And also, because it's knit, does look like something I would wear a bunch. So there is something to be said for that, you know? Like, just a really cute, fun knit dress. Yeah. A lot to be said for that these days. <clears throat> Next, we have Intimates and Swimwear, which we've been over. I don't know how to review this stuff, so we're going to skip that one. We have the Spencer Boxy Tee, which I don't think we need to look at another Boxy Tee, right? Crew neck, drop shoulder, some color blocking options, call it a day. Here's some more swimsuits, which I love that they have the options for them, but it looks great on her. Here is a vintage track short. And a ringer tee. Again, we've been through shorts. We've been through tees with them. This is the Janie dress and separate. So again, you've got your bat wing um, and your close fitting skirt. Very similar to that other um, bat wing. That remember I said it looked like very 80s. This, on the other hand, we haven't seen anything like. This is the Elliot romper and dress. <clears throat> get ready to meet your newest obsession. Slim fit, low V neckline, low slung arm size, and fun T back. We made layering with Elliot easy by including a bandeau and cami option. So you get the layering piece too. Robber in capri and pant length, regular and tall lengths included. Dress in knee and midi length. Slant, oh, it's a dress also. Slant or patch pockets. Bandeau in mini or modest crop. Cami in mini or modest crop. Shelf bra in sizes B through double D. So, yeah. You really wouldn't need anything else. These are the low slung arm size. This seam here turns into the pocket, which is how the little windbreaker that I sewed for last year's sew along one of last year's sew alongs that's how that was done and I loved that detail on that center front seam binding finishes <clears throat> this is the tee back it looks okay through the um crotch curve <laughs> here it is she did some um color blocking you can see that how deep the pocket bags are through here that is Biscuit asking for dinner, if you guys can hear her moving that around. Yeah, I'm totally getting more of like a loungewear vibe from this, and I would wear this to death. They are exactly right about it being a, my latest assumption. Here's the dress. <clears throat> Equally as nice. This looks a little long, though. Now we're, now we're getting some interesting crotch lengths. <clears throat> Also, they are a little bit long, but maybe that's, I think she might just be shorter waisted because this looks long too. Like this is barely covering her bust apex, whereas some of the other longer girls, <clears throat> um, this is a little bit higher. Let's see if anybody else shows up like that. Yeah, like that, that's good enough to me. But the straps might be a little bit long. Like, I think I would prefer a shorter strap, more coverage, like less of a low slung arm side. Um, I would prefer more coverage up here than to have all the length down here. So what am I saying? So, <laughs> so I would like to shorten the straps, pull this whole thing up higher, and then add length down here somewhere. Like, I guess like this. This feels coveragey enough. Or, you know, just lean in. She must have shortened the straps. Some of these people, I think, are shortened the straps for sure. 
And then she also made it a bit of a drop crotch. So you can also like lean into the idea of it being like, you know, loungewear and make it like a drop crotch situation. But I don't think that's how it's intended. We'll look at the line drawings here in a second, but. And you know, but hardly anybody made the dress, but there's a lot to be said for just a column knit dress that's really cute and, you know, handles all the situations you would have going on up here with the shelf bra and everything else. Super cute. I actually would like deeper hem, hem bands down here. So cute. I love the pink on the outside and then the cheetah underneath. Yeah, I could totally get behind this. So it does look like it kind of curves out through the waist and hip and then is kind of close fitting through the thigh. It does appear that it's intended to be a bit of a drop crotch, right? Doesn't that look, but that could just be my mind playing tricks on me. So yeah, you might have to do some like tissue fitting as you kind of go along here, but I think it doesn't say drop crotch, which makes me think they don't want it to be that way, but a lot of the pictures look that way, so I don't know. Oh, and there's a review. Such a fab romper, great fit and works well over a top so it's versatile. I found the sizing to be spot on. Thanks, Jennifer. Okay, next up we have the adult Henley, or sorry, Halsey Henley. So another knit top with a half button placket. We've seen it. This is the Ramona Shacket. Shackets are like shirts and jackets combined. Um, it's meant to be like oversized, meant to be made out of like a wool or a flannel or something like that. Like it's the best of like wearing your boyfriend or your dad's flannel shirt but also like as a coat. This is like a perfect representation of that. Sizing on this wouldn't really matter too much. Another perfect representation of it. Not really meant for knits, I don't think. Yeah, perfect. This is a shacket to a T. So that's fun. I don't think we see a lot of like patterns called shacket. We see a lot of like oversized shirt, oversized button downs, or like um, we see other than, yeah, I guess that's really it. Like oversized button downs, but no one's really calling it a shacket, which is what makes me think that this brand more than some of the others is just really hyper-focused on what the trends are in fashion, even in ready to wear and really leaning into that. I mean, the fact that they call this, you know, a shacket um, means they're kind of paying attention. So here's another basic Dolman sweater, basic lounge pants, um, another oversized sweater. This one has a pretty scooped hem, um, similar to the one that had the ties going through it. These are some night shorts, I'd say so. Look at that fun ruching. We've got a color blocked hoodie, a cross front hoodie, Lots and lots of knits, lots and lots of lounge wear. This is a Miles jumpsuit. Let's take a look at this. Um, zipper or button snaps, front bodice, cuff long sleeves, neck band or hood, relaxed sweatpant style pant, cuff pants leg, optional elastic casing and pockets. And then you have all these things to add on. Uh, pixie color block, simple or banded hoods. Various ears, you don't see that very often. Long animal, rounded animal, pointed. The child slash character ears. You have simple circle and pointed elf skirt options. What does that even mean? Pointed elf collar, faux belt and buckle. Oh my goodness, I've never seen a pattern description like this before. Comfy, cozy jumpsuit pattern with all the add-ons. Look at this. This is for grown-ups. Oh, there's the pointed elf thing that they were talking about, I think. Unisex standard size chart. Where the hip goes up to 65 inches. And the bust goes up to 64 inches. So it is a 
uh, onesie. I mean, let's call a spade a spade here. It's a onesie for the whole family. And then you can also add in all these other really fun options. Please tell me a grown woman made the ears. That's what I need to see. What? <laughs> oh, gosh. It's got to be warm. It's got to be so warm. No one made the ears. What a bummer. Well, that's fun either way. So here's your adult onesie. So fun. Look at all the ears. <laughs> I'd make the ears. All right. Next up. Let's see what else we've got here that's new and different. Turtleneck dress. So the the classic like rib knit dress with turtleneck and then the bishop sleeve that they've been doing a bunch of. We've seen that a lot. The indigo top and dress. Is this woven? Crop top dress or maxi length v-neck that can be customized to any depth, short or long sleeves. Two skirt variations, simple or waterfall, and then various waist options, shirt, elastic, or ties. So I am thinking, sweet silhouette with a retro flare. I am thinking this is waterfall maxi. I've never heard that before. Is that whenever it's gathered here? And oh, but it has like a go day in it. And then you can do the shirring too, which is so fun. Did we not see a line drawing? Did I over, oh, what am I talking about? See, this is when I know the video is getting too long, when I'm like losing my mind. I wanted to see if it was woven, so that's what I was looking for. Oh, the, the TV is turning on. <laughs> um, it doesn't say, it doesn't say fabric um, recommendations. It just has the requirements. So I'm guessing it's woven. I mean, it looks really comfortable. That's cute. That's cute. So your lightweight, drapey wovens, I guess. Because it is dolman, you know. So if you use something too structured, you get all these folds. But that's fun. Yeah, super cute in a, um eyelet. That was fun. But see how this drapier one, it just kind of like, you know, hangs close to the body. Okay. Next. Oh, look at this cute little jumper. The birch jumper. Well, I love this. Uh, three different silhouettes. Jumper with A-line flare skirt. Jumper dress or simple skirt. Optional button front closure for a more fitted silhouette. Two different pocket options. Pork chop pocket. What is a pork chop pocket? Or simple patch pockets. I love the flared skirt. My, I think my issue with a lot of these like romp jumpers is that they are close fitting through the hip and thigh. And so, you know, it's just like you have to be in a mood to be able to wear something close fitting. Um, but to have it kind of flare out like that, that's so fun. Especially in a corduroy. So cute. And then you can also make it into just a skirt, which she had done. But yeah, this was made for corduroy for sure. She nailed it. There's a skirt. There's a lengthened kind of plaid version with a turtleneck underneath. So fall, so cute. So I think a pork chop pocket is this. When it's like a kangaroo pocket, but on the inside, where the pocketing the pocket bag is on the inside versus the outside. Is that what it is? Am I understanding this correctly? Yes. Look at this with the hat and the graphic geometric print. Plus this like burnt orange color here for this outfit. So cute. And anything plaid. So cute there too. Layered. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So many, oh, denim, I think. So many cute options. Yeah, they aren't giving fabric suggestions in these older patterns, which I'm not a fan of. Um, I wish they at least would go back. It does say woven or stable knit here. So, okay, fine. Um, I guess that's better than nothing. Um, 
And then let me see the line drawings again. No line drawings. Oh, here they are. Okay. <clears throat> so you have your jumper, your skirt, your jumper dress, button front jumper, and then button front skirt. Wow, that really does like cover a lot of ground there. Uh, I missed what the backs looked like. Did you guys see the backs anywhere? Is it just the same like scoop neck back? No backs. That's why I missed it. Nobody shared the back. Okay. Well, I still think it's cute. I mean, she's selling it for me. Like, I just want to be her. I want to be her with her little tee. I want to be her with her little sneakers. Like, everything about it. Love. I think I would wear that a ton. Okay, wide leg trousers. So these are your button front kind of vintage -y throwback flares, wide leg, functional fly, optional pockets, maternity cut and waistband for our expectant fans. What about people that just eat too many potato chips? <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Cute leg line, really cute leg line. Okay, pants. Let me see. A little hard to tell with some of the poses what exactly is going on in the pants. They might be a little bit, well, it's also hard to tell if the wearer is wearing them correctly. This is why um, tester makes are just, so, oh, what the heck? Tester makes are so hard to like <coughs> use as the way to judge how a pattern is drafted because there's just so many personal and individualized choices when it comes into sewing and nobody really is making it the way that the designer, well, it's hard to tell if people are making it the way the designer intended or if they've made changes or if they're wearing them in a different way. But like based off this, like these are some good looking pants. That looks great. That looks exceptional. You know, when I see like multiple people in different sizes over and over executing a design and it looks good in a pant, I mean, that is, that is a strong selling point. Strong selling point. I would love to know more about these. Like these are, this is one of the ones that I would look up on Instagram and just see what people have to say, you know, like look at the picture obviously, but also in their caption and see kind of what they thought if they had to make a lot of changes, like how they were able to get to the place where we see them in these photos. Yes, Joplin. Yes, Joplin. Because you could also from the knee up or the thigh up, <clears throat> use the same pattern and then adjust for skinny leg, straight leg, boot cut, you know, whatever you wanted to do. You could really use these as a jumping off point. But I mean, so many different versions look really good. So there's a lot to be said for that. All right, here's a Marlo sweater and cardigan. We've been through their cardigans a million times. Same thing with this crossover sweater. Seen it. Um, boxers and tights. Basketball shorts. That's fun. Bra top and dress. Again, looks familiar like that other bralette we saw. These are the yoga pants. Again, same design we've seen, just have a little bit of like um, an inset here. We've got a freebie sleeve add-on for three of their different top patterns. Adult thin crop top and hoodie. Again, we've seen it. Um, twist tee and skirt pretty much have seen it. Like a lot of their knits are starting to just repeat themselves in little ways where things have been tweaked, but overall kind of the same vibe. These are the Waverly shorts, which are like a workout short. Again, you don't see a ton of patterns for stuff like this, especially with this really cool, like ready to wear, you know, uh, tulipy hem. Uh, four waistband options, three elastic using one, one and a half or two inch elastic and also a knit fold over style yoga waistband. Instructions for adding a faux drawstring are also included. 
detailed instructions on getting the perfect fit on your Waverly shorts. This includes diagrams to identify common fit problems, as well as how to adjust the pattern pieces to get the fit you love. Okay. Wait, did that just say knit gym shorts? Yes. Retro inspired knit gym shorts. So yes, you see these like running type shorts all over the place in ready to wear. Man, they're short. Okay, it's super short. Yeah, I'm looking for girls with big booties and big thighs and seeing how it translates there and exactly how I thought. So if you have a tummy or if you have like, I mean, she has a really high um, and kind of like a bubble butt. And then down here, it's all this gaping, which uh, maybe it just looks funny because it's from this, not funny. Maybe it just looks not like the others because it is from the side. Those almost, oh, because they're drooping down because of her belly. I get it. I get it. Okay. Yeah, my fear is that my butt and thighs would be so big. But maybe that's what they say about this little diagram thing that you're supposed to follow. Like, I don't think it would fit my, like, almost like cup, <laughs> my butt, like it's doing with hers. Fit through here, but also lay close to the body. I would be very worried that that wouldn't happen for me. But they are really cute on the more straight or at least um, thinner legged ladies. All right, crop top and midi, again, similar to that other, uh, what'd they call it, a brahmi? We've got a hibiscus bodysuit. So same bodysuit as we saw before, but it just has like this little flounce. Linden, which is uh, like a sports bra and underwear. More Intimates, a little sleepy set. This is cute. I'll keep this in mind for next February's um, Sew Together. I have lots of options. Hold on. Let me go to the line drawing so I know what we're doing here. So you have a romper, obsessed, a ruffle dress, shorts and tank, ruffle crop and ruffle shorts, and then also a maxi dress. There's the romper, so cute. Tell me you couldn't just make that in like a cute little thicker like jersey knit and wear it out, out. There it is with the ruffle hem romper, so cute. Yep, and because you have this half placket, that's how you're able to easily get in and out of the romper too. There's the dress version, tops and a short, yeah. Oh, the ruffle top and the shorts are so cute. Lots of great versions. Love. Waffle knit. So great. Yes, this is really cute. I would totally get this and make all the versions. Shelf bra added uh, for added support. Optional ruffles. We went through all of this. The tank comes in various lengths. Nightgown or romper with a Henley placket for easy on and off. There's also shorts. If you prefer two-piece sleep sets, Ruffles had a little extra something. Um, and the Henley placket can be added to any option for even more versatility, especially helpful for breastfeeding. The optional sleep bra also allows for extra support without a lot of extra work. Fun. Thoughtful. Okay. Pepper robe. We've seen a few robes from them already. Or like robe style designs. Um, this one has a bit of a flutter sleeve. Oh, why are the pictures so small? Oh, there we go. Oh, the pictures are small again. Okay, here's the line drawing. So you can kind of see. I think this is supposed to... I don't know. Now I'm confused. Circle sleeve, long sleeve, tunic length, dress length, or duster length. And then this is something happening here in the middle. Oh, just a waistband? I don't know why it was. Yeah. Okay. Well, I can't really see a lot of the pictures to see how people are wearing it. But if it's just like a robe, like 
a cover up or can you wear it as like a cardigan? This is the another romper and dress. So knit, close fitting, couple different bodice options, back options, sleeve options, skirt options, and then pant options. Entire summer capsule in one pattern. Yeah, I think we're getting that. So tops, v-neck uh, with a v in the back as well, cross front, low scoop back, modest scoop back, only for the dress version. Otherwise, you won't be able to get it in and out of it. Then you have the split front pants, which I think are super cool just on their own, like resort wear. Circle skirt, culottes that are also kind of like a circle. Um, so think of like a 1950s bathing suit. And then your fitted pencil skirts. All right, so there's the fitted dress. See the pants? Can you not imagine those in like, well, these are all knits, so it's a little bit different, but I was picturing like, you know, linen or something like that. The tulip skirt, so pretty. Here are the shorts, right? You can see they're like, they set away from the body a lot. That's the romper, I think. That looks so cool. Definitely more often, more than once, I've seen a strong like 70s aesthetic from them, which is fun. Yeah, so you just mix and match. Cute. Then we've got overalls. Wow, look at all of this. So you've got your two fronts. Here's a little side. That's what the side looks like. The back can either tie or be like sewn in. And then you've got all these bottoms. Let's see, is it for knits again? Oh, it doesn't say. Well, that's definitely a knit. Yeah, I think that's for knits again. A knit overall. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> Do you think that means honey likes it or no? I, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The concept is there. Execution seems to be off for the most part. Again, it might come to fabric choice just being too lightweight. But also the pants are like the bodice is super long and this is really low. Like nobody wants this horizontal line, this cut out of a horizontal line this low on their body. So if it were me, I would raise this up so this whole waistband is at the smallest part of my body, shorten the bodice, give me some extra room in the thigh, and then maybe we would be somewhere closer. Like, see, hers is up a little bit higher. That's better. Okay. This is, this will always remind me of that um, crinkle rayon romper that I made that 99% of you hated, but I still stand by. But this is a meant to be a loungewear, so it is made for knits. Um, it does have a dramatic drop crotch, um, tank short or dolman sleeve, scooper v-neck, um, fold over footy cuff, and optional inseam pockets. So this is like the vibe that I was going for with that, but meant to be just like around the house. It's like a loosey goosey um, onesie, basically. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, look at that picture. I still think these are so cool and I still think they are so comfortable. And I will, thank you, Biscuit. I will continue to make them. Look, she's even wearing hers out of the house. Cute. <laughs> 
lots of sass from these testers, right? Like they put this on and you just feel different. Maybe that's, maybe that's what it is, is that when I wear that, uh, crinkle rayon romper that I made, like I feel good. And you guys could never pick up on that because you know, you don't have it on. So I like this, the adult lab lounger. Lab stands for lol about. Okay, what is next? Almost there, guys. Because some of these are like becoming like repeats, like the Mickey Jogger, we've seen that already from them, right? Bomber jacket. Um, leotard, which is another bodysuit. Let's take a look at these Hell's Bells pants. Bell bottoms are coming back in a big way. Three different cuts, wide, slim, flare, and boot cut. Hot shorts, con contour or maternity waistband, and also a jumper waistband. Again, is this knits? It doesn't say. Hold on. But I do think it is knits. So here's the jumper, quote unquote, waistband, which is really just like a top that they've attached. Yes, those are some bell bottoms, that is for sure. Oh my gosh, look at them. I love that. I think those are the hot pants. Love them in a stretchy corduroy, that's fun. That looks like a totally different pattern. There you can see the waistband. She's the only one that's really shown like what the top looks like. So super deep like yoga waistband. Yeah, so not a lot of pictures of these. Um, these actually look too big for her in the waistband. Plus we didn't see, or at least I didn't notice, slim flare or boot cut. And did we not have, we didn't even have line drawings. So it's just really hard whenever so much information is missing. I can't really tell, like, this is a waistband. Yes, I think they're just too long through through this area here. But I'd like to see the other versions in a line drawing. Okay, tights and socks. We can skip, um, like, intimates. Slouchy cardigan. It's like a cocoon cardigan we've already seen. A uh, little Henley pullover. We've seen the similar version. P.S. I love you sweater. Another knit sweater of theirs with the same like bishop or lantern sleeve. T simple t-shirt dress. Um, another knit dress. This one just has like the sleeve cut out. Uh, this is not an adult pattern. Fair weather trousers. These are just paperback waist pants. Saffron looks to be a woven. Like a uh, empire waist dress, maybe. Oh, and also a top. That's cool with the stripe directions going in different ways. I like that there's no closures because the back scoop is so low. You can just slip it on over your head. I love that. Again, I think I need some line drawings here because it looks like there's multiple bodice versions, but like some have pleats. I'm sorry, some have bust darts. Like, right? That's a bust dart. It looks really high and not pointed in the right direction at all, if that's what that is. Um, and then they have that one with the panel princess seam thing. And there's just lots of options that I can't really see because, you know, with the printed fabrics, you can't see them all. All right. This is a cold shoulder. You can tell we're getting into like, when was this 2018? Yeah. Perfect for 2018. Um, we don't, we're not really doing cold shoulder anymore, but this one's just the same raglan we saw before with some color blocking another hoodie. So it looks like they took, you know, what they know works, these knit t-shirts and tank tops and robes and all of that kind of stuff, um, and then just keep modifying them for current trends. So 
Whereas we were doing the cold shoulder before, now we're doing more crops. And so then they just re-release sort of the same idea with just current trends, which, I mean, that makes perfect sense. Um, here's another knit dress. This is a knit skirt, swimsuit and leotard. Another swimsuit that actually has a little bit of coverage on the arm, which is fun. Serenity top and dress. This one actually looks a little bit unique. Some of these older ones are on sale also. Um, lounging with coffee and a good book to the school pickup line and grocery shopping, all while feeling stylish, comfortable, and fabulous. No line drawings, no size charts like this. As we get way back here into the beginnings of their company, they really have removed a lot. But it looks like you have like a close fitting yoke and then this is supposed to be drapey. So I think our fabric's a little bit um, too structured. Should be a little bit drapier. There's the clothes back with the hood like this. I think this maybe was the intention here. I love that little peekaboo. Again, very like a uh, Fabletics. Cute little knit dress, which we've seen cur more current versions of. Yeah, the back detail is really the only thing that is really different about this one, but still a cute detail nonetheless. Um, this is another knit dolman, another like uh, cut out top. But, or also not cut out. <laughs> so much personality. So you have this tee back with a sports bra, but very close fitting through the hip. Yes, queen. Yes. Look at her. Strong woman. Yeah, I was interested to see the cutouts from the front. That looks pretty good. I'd like to see it like straight on. I don't know that we're going to get that. So wait, she has it too? You can't even see her cutouts. So maybe that's what it looks like from straight on. Or you just have like a regular top. It's either or. Either <laughs> let your whole midsection out or cover everything up. Yeah, so from the front, it actually does have a lot of coverage, even though the back is missing so much. Active shots, so fun, so fun. So yeah, that's a cute little active wear set. Another knit t-shirt dress, another sweatshirt. Oh, this is actually an add-on. Foster pet pocket. Wait, what? A hoodie that has a pocket for an animal. Okay, okay, okay. What? Oh my. <laughs> I mean, depending on how heavy your pet is, it could be a little funky. Oh my gosh. The girls are looking at me. You guys want uh, to ride in my sweatshirt? Anybody? You want to ride in my sweatshirt? You should see their faces. Okay. Holiday hideout body sensory sock. If you're not familiar with this, they're like, uh, I think for people who are on the autism spectrum, um, I don't know much about it, but I've seen these like for sale on like e-commerce websites, not sewing patterns, but actually like completed. So nice that they have something for um, that if you need it to make it at home because it could be a lot cheaper and you can make a bunch of them. Then we have sleepy time slippers, adult joggers. There's like yoga pants and jogger combined. Then we have some hats, gloves, another like poncho-y oversized sweater type thing. Free eye mask. Actually, the uh, poncho's free. All these are free. So is this. The adult thin relaxed tee crop uh, length only. The get it together dress is free. The swanky tank is free. This is really pretty. How it like flows away from the body like that at the bottom. It only goes up to 3x though. 
but it has that really pretty cutaway shoulder. Are we going to see the back? Oh yeah. And then that's the back. It's nice. It's a little long for my taste, but you know, super easy to shorten. Great in a drapey fabric for sure. What is all this? Choose your size on the chart that corresponds with your measurements. You may need to blend sizes in different areas. The pattern is designed for five foot five to five seven. So if you are shorter or taller than this range, you will take the difference in inches and divide by two as a general guide, and then you will shorten or lengthen at the given line on the pattern. If you're 5'1", the difference is four, so you will shorten the pattern by two. What? If you're 5'1", the difference is four, so you should shorten it by four, no? Does that make sense to anybody? Leave a comment and let me know. The height thing is just totally throwing me off altogether. Um, you've got a free circle skirt. And that is it. So lots of great free patterns, actually, if you guys want to try them out. Um, I will have a link in the description box. You can get all these patterns for free. Every single one. Well, some of them are add-ons. But um, look, for your kids, you can put your little stuffies in there. That is just too cute. All of these are free patterns. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so overall, like I said, I kind of feel like the newer patterns are obviously more reflective of where they are today. The older ones, although great basics, um, they really have, you can see, like the evolution of their company as almost we always can when these pattern companies have been around for years and years. Um, very much into the trends, especially knitwear, loungewear, that sort of like athleisure. If you're looking for patterns in that category, I feel like these will be one of your go-tos. I feel like they're in direct competition with five out of four and a lot of those other pattern companies um, like Jolie who were doing a lot of this like knitwear, athletic wear, loungewear, all of that kind of stuff. So there were some that I for sure loved mostly like the rompers um I really liked some of these like more modern takes on sweatshirts um but I'm dying to know what you guys thought let me know in the comments section below if you have ever made these patterns before that is always really helpful um to see what the instructions are like and if the fit is on spot on and if the pattern turned out like you would expected it to, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and I have linked in the end screen here to last week's first impression Friday for Atelier Scummit. Lots of really cute patterns in there as well. I think there were like five of them that I really liked. So if you missed that video, go check that out. Otherwise, that's going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.